Hello, hockey fans. Well, I got my Stanley Cup final shirt on. It came in the mail on uh, this past Saturday. Um, so at least I have that. This is, this is just great. And of course, those who know about it have it. It has the, the, the roster on the back. Yeah, um, it, has, it has the uh, team roster on the back. Uh, great. It's a great design, but what was not a great design was how the Avalanche played. Now, let's get one thing straight. We were not sweeping Tampa Bay, and I don't know why Avs fans were saying that. Some Avs fans were saying that even before the final started. Started Avs and four. Are you kidding? You you really thought the back-to-back -back chance was going to just go down like nothing? It's not how hockey works. <laughs> That's not how hockey works. Any any any. Realistic hockey fan knows that. Um, it was kind of a decent start for us. Crazy. Um, I think the Chush could put it in, but it was called back. And uh, it was called back. It was reviewed for offsides. They got it right. It was offside. But did they really have to take 10 minutes to figure that out? Like, uh, I get one to get it right, but you got to get it right like that. It shouldn't take that long. But anyway. Um... So that's called back. It's taken off the board, but we do get got on the board first anyway. Uh, Lance Cross go to power play goal, but Tampa Bay put up two, and just like that, they have their first lead of this year's final, and that's something. Um, it didn't end there. It was a relentless attack from the Bolts. We cut it to one after an early second period goal, but they just would not stop. They were on a mission tonight. They were. Um, they knocked out Kemper. Francois came in, gave up the Corey Perry Corey Perry goal, but other than that, that was it. Um, yeah, so uh, it's, it's it's no surprise. I mean, we punched him in the mouth in game two. Tonight was our turn. We got hit in the mouth as well. Uh, so uh, Tampa took game three by score six to two, and um, we have a series. We have a series. It's still it's two to one, still in favor of the Avs, but we need to buckle down here because here's how I see this. And I've said this many times on social media at Avs Packers fan on Twitter. Um, Tampa Bay got their pound of flesh tonight. They did. This was two games worth of frustration for Tampa. They needed this. They needed this because. They were coming off being outscored 11 to three in the first two games, and um, the, the, the 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 Bolts are having Vasilevsky had his worst game ever, worst playoff game ever. So they needed this. But well, here's how I see it, though: Tampa should be relaxed. All that frustration should be gone, even as they are a, a, a down a game. And now the Avs are kind of like uh, fired up. And uh, and want to and need to answer back because this is our first road loss of this year's playoffs and only our third loss overall. So the Avs are going to try to answer back, and I really think we're going to do that. I really think we're going to do that, but it's not going to be easy. Game four is going to be much closer than this. I really did think I really see that. So um, game so yeah this so that'll be interesting. So that's my brief recap of game three. Uh, yeah, Tampa got their win, but here's hoping we take it back. Because Game 4 is Wednesday night, still in Amelie Arena in Tampa. If we win, if we win on Wednesday, then on Friday, we will return home to Ball Arena. And guess what will be there backstage in a case? The Stanley Cup. We need to win on. We need to win on Wednesday. We need to win on Wednesday. We need to answer back, so we so we can enter Friday with a chance to win the whole fucking thing in front of in front of our Avs fan faithful at Ball Arena. So that's the important thing this upcoming Wednesday. So that's my recap of Game Three. If you like this video. 
click that like button, click subscribe if you want more. My story on vocal about game three of this of this Stanley Cup final will be in the description below when it's published. So check it out where you can. I'll be back on Wednesday to um, recap game four, hopefully, with some very, very good news. So stay tuned.